how much water would it take to put out the sun? Well, here's the thing. If you took all of the water on Earth and threw it at the sun, what you would actually be doing is making the sun uh, burn brighter, burn longer, and get bigger. Now, this might seem counterintuitive, but to get to why that happens, we'll have to go back to what a flame or a fire actually is here on Earth. So usually what happens uh, with a fire is you have a combustible material and you mix in some heat, some oxygen or an oxidizer, and you make a chain reaction out of those and you get a flame. Uh, usually when we put out flames, we use water or H2O. Water is really good at putting out fire because it has a, a few special properties. The first is it's really good at absorbing heat and it can absorb a lot of it. Uh, so it takes away that heat that's really important in sustaining a fire. Another important thing about water is that it smothers the fire and prevents oxygen from getting into it. The tricky part about the sun is that it doesn't actually burn. It's not actually combusting. How it creates heat and light is through a process called nuclear fission. Uh, so the sun is huge, it's massive, um, it has a ton, literally millions of tons of hydrogen atoms. Um, and in the core of the sun, there's uh, a lot of pressure coming from the outer mass of the, of the solar body itself and pushing against the core. And what's happening inside the core is the hydrogen atoms are are colliding with one another and they're creating new atoms, new particles called helium-4, very closely related to helium. And while this is happening, uh, heat and light and other small particles are being emitted. Um, so it's not actually burning, it's not actually combusting. Going back to using water to put out the sun, if you were to throw water or H2O, hydrogen and oxygen, onto the sun, what you would be doing is just giving the sun more and more fuel. Uh, which means that it would just get bigger and live even longer. You wouldn't actually be, be extinguishing it. So you can't actually extinguish the sun by throwing a ton of water at it. But just for fun, we did do some calculations and figure out how much energy that the sun is going to be outputting for the next 5 billion years that it's alive. And we figured out that it's around 2.616 times 10 to the power of 40 grams of water. Now, what does that mean in terms of how much water there is on Earth? That's about 19 quadrillion times the water that we have on Earth that we would need to force onto the sun to extinguish the energy that it has. Again, that's not going to happen because, you know, we would just be making the, the sun hotter and bigger and live longer. Um, so what are some other ways that you can think of? We thought about maybe, you know, taking a ton of fire extinguishers and, and shooting them while we're in space, uh, seeing if that extinguishes the sun. Um, maybe some fire retardant blankets. Um, I'll, how much sunblock lotion would be needed for that? Who knows? Let us know what you think down at the comments.